My name is Jason Daniels and I am more known as Mary Cherry and we are in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Mary Cherry is a international, <laughs> international drag performer, uh, MC, actor, event producer, uh, and all around character. I started doing drag in San Francisco just for fun. I would go to friends' parties or go to office events, you know, in drag, but nothing too serious. And New York was going to be that place where uh, my dreams and my destiny was going to happen. I didn't perform on stage until I was in Brooklyn. I was at my local bar, uh, Metropolitan Bar, and uh, I told the manager, I was like, why don't you have a coat check? He's like, well, I guess we should have a coat check. Uh, do you want to do our coat check? And I was like, uh, well, I have a nine to five, but more coin? Yeah, let's do it. So uh, I ended up working the coat check, and maybe a few weeks after working coat check, I uh, decided to just start putting on a little makeup just for fun, and I realized I made even more coin doing that. So I ended up doing even more of the fantasy because it first started off as like uh, a little lipstick and then darkening my eyebrows and then putting on a fascinator and then eventually it became a wig, a dress. It was like destiny took control. And uh, I went from coat track to having one party and then having people contact me to speak at their event, to performing at their event. It's been uh, a almost six years now that I've been doing drag in Brooklyn. Being in drag has made me so much, so more sure of myself and more confident um, within myself. The power of being on stage or the power of just dressing up and having um, people be in awe of you regardless of how busted you may look, okay, um, is, it uh, can be life changing. For the owner of Metropolitan, when the bar first opened 15 years ago, uh, the neighbors were not very happy about it and they actually, uh, a group of them beat him up to the point where he was in a coma for a few weeks. That was 15 years ago, and now those people, those groups of people that, uh, I don't know if it's still them or if maybe it's their sons or whatever, because uh, there's a little club across the street uh, for the Italianos, you know. Uh, they um, are one of our biggest protectors if there's something that happens downstairs. I don't like to give up on the plants. I come from a very interesting family um, tree, you know. So uh, my grandmother was conservative uh, from Arkansas. She won a special uh, scholarship to go to an all-black school. In the South at that time, the only jobs that a black woman could get, an educated black woman could get, would be either a teacher or a secretary, and she said no. So she came to California and uh, got, a, got a cute job um, with the Army. And for me, uh, being raised by her in Berkeley, California, which is a radical liberal city, uh, definitely created conflict. But now I appreciate that because in a world where everything is just so laissez-faire, I like that I have some love for tradition. My father was a huge part of the Black Panther movement and my mother, who was raised in the conservative household, met him and was just like, hey, you know. <laughs> my grandparents did not like that at all, of course. And eventually my uh, grandparents got their way and removed my father from the picture completely. And my grandparents paid him to leave my mother and I. <laughs> he tried to kidnap me 
and uh, then my grandparents had to give him more money. So yeah, drama, okay, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I do remember being in a field and having my grandmother like yell at me uh, to come to her, but then having this figure holding my shoulders, um, but not, I don't remember the face that well. Uh, and I think that's when it all happened. And I remember police, I went to my first protest at five. My mother has definitely taught me to be passionate. And I think activism and compassion is something that my mother uh, taught me. And then my grandmother taught me how to use my mind and be strong and not let anyone uh, break you, regardless of how much they'll try. People need to pay attention because we are going to be the foot soldiers of the revolution. It's not about color, it's about heart. It's not about gender, it's about heart. I do sausage, egg, cheese on a croissant, actually not a bagel. America has spent so many years building these walls that I just imagine it being that that's how change will happen is from the inside. Are we there yet? Hell no. We have to completely squash the establishment that exists. All I was hearing the bang, 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 that was part of a song. Regarding the Orlando tragedies, you know, uh, it was an interesting moment for me, like everyone else. Uh, I, it's, it's kind of reminding me of 9-11, to be honest, um, where everyone was so much about community and coming together, and it gave me a glimpse of what the world could be like, what our community, the gay, queer community could be like. It was gorgeous, you know? People were hugging each other. I had no help financially uh, for college, so I am in huge debt and it angers me that I'm in huge debt. What I want to really do is create a fund for queer youth that are going to college. Specifically, the fund that I want to create is going to be queer people of color and put some money in some kid's pocket that has dreams just like all, all of us that are, are accepting the award. It's not going to be just drag. Drag is my stepping stone, but there's so much that Jason can also do.